You want to be on camera? <laughs> guys hi it's miss Barreto. um i'm sorry this is coming so late i wanted to do this earlier like last week but i got lazy um so i am currently in my living room this is a part of my house you have not seen before here's my infamous cat she's going to walk behind me now um i'm in my pajamas i am comfy cozy because that is the way that i like to read and as I introduce to you a book this week, I thought I should be in my reading position. So blanket on, on my couch, with my book. And this is a book I am super excited to share with you guys. So this is the first book in the series, The Enola Holmes Mysteries. And it is called The Case of the Missing Marquez. I think it's Marquez. I'm horrible at saying names. So, this book I read when I was maybe in the 6th or 7th grade, and it stuck with me so long that about four years ago, I just had to find the book again and rebuy it, and I did. Um, I'm going to read the inside cover for you, tell you a little bit about what the book itself is about, and then tell you why I think you should read it. So, let's get started. When Enola Holmes, much younger sister of Detective Sherlock Holmes, discovers her mother has disappeared, and on her 14th birthday, to make matters worse, she knows she alone can find her. Disguising herself as a grieving widow, Enola sets out to the heart of London to uncover her mother's whereabouts, but not even the last name Holmes can prepare her for what awaits. Suddenly involved in the kidnapping of the young Marquez of Baselweather, Enola must escape murderous villains, free the spoiled Marquez, and perhaps hardest of all, elude her shrewd older brother, all while collecting clues to her mother's disappearance. Infused with the voice and atmosphere of Victorian London's rat-infested streets, this suspenseful and witty novel brings mystery lovers the genre at its best. And this is by Nancy Springer. So, why do I think you guys should read it? Because it is a great book. Um, a lot of you mentioned in your first day of school surveys that you guys like mysteries. I saw people talk about how they liked The 39 Clues, which is one of my favorites. And while this is not exactly like The 39 Clues, I know The 39 Clues was super involved, super crazy, super cool. This has a lot of the same things. There is, there are codes in it that you can solve to kind of get a hint at as to where Enola's mother is. There's also just so many twists and turns. There are, you know, villains who are murderous and trying to, you know, destroy everything. There's this girl who has never been anywhere outside of her home, and now she's just thrusted into this world of, you know, mayhem and, you know, society. And also, personally, my favorite, there's a really cool dress in here that has a lot of weapons in it, and I just think that's a cool thing. So, I think that it is a great book for anyone who likes a mystery, who likes historical novels, who thinks Sherlock Holmes is really cool. This is a great book to kind of get you into that. And even if you're not sure, oh, is this really my style of book? Give it a try anyways. In my opinion, you don't know if you don't like a book until you get about halfway through. If at halfway through you're like, nope, get this book away from me, more power to you, I accept that. I have read plenty of books that halfway through I quit. I was like, nope, this is awful. So my personal opinion is, give it halfway and try to see if maybe you'll surprise yourself. I definitely did not think I was a mystery novel person when I first read this book. And now 
I have not just read this book, I have read all six books in the series. I actually own all six books in the series. They're on my bookshelf thing that's right behind this computer. I also have several other kinds of mystery books behind me in this bookshelf over here. I have a lot of bookshelves, I have a lot of books. But I think that to start off this book recommendation, this is a great book. On top of that, if you're still unsure, let's see if I can sway you with this last fun fact about the book. I know that some of you have mentioned to me that you have seen the show Stranger Things because I like Dungeons and Dragons and you guys have mentioned Dungeons and Dragons is in Stranger Things. Well, the girl in Stranger Things 11, actress's name is Millie Bobby Brown, she will be playing Enola Holmes in the film adaptation that is set to release on Netflix in about two weeks. I know, I think it's about two weeks, and I could not be more excited. Not only that, but the guy that plays Superman in Man of Steel, Justice League, Batman vs. Superman, actor named Henry Cable, he is going to be playing Sherlock Holmes. I personally never imagined Sherlock Holmes being like, a super buff guy, but I am excited to see this version. And it is on Netflix. I believe it is rated PG-13, so ask your parents. It'll be a fun movie to watch with your family, I bet. Um, and it is coming out September 23rd, I think. About that time. So, if you're still unsure, should you read this book? Maybe see the movie and see if it sparks something in you. Or maybe try to read the book before the movie comes out. I know that I have been able to read this book pretty quickly, but I'm also a really fast reader, like super fast. And unfortunately, that means I don't really get all the information that happens. But if you think that you could read this book before the movie comes out, more power to you. Um, so I'm going to put in the comment area, link area, I don't really know, down below some resources on where to find this book. I'm going to put a link to the Kentucky Public Library or Louisville Public Library, not sure which one it's called. Um, I know the last time I checked there were books available, but a lot of them were on hold or requested, so there might not be available anymore. I'm also going to put a link where you can buy this book. I buy all my books used. I think that it is so much better to adopt a book that has been neglected rather than go to a bookstore and buy something brand new. So I will put a link to my favorite online used bookstore, Thrift Books. They have a great selection of books. That's where I bought this book. Sorry if you hear a weird banging in the background. Glory's acting weird. But um, that's also going to be down below. And finally, for those of you who are a little bit, you know, worried about your ability to read a book. This is a, not a super long book, but it has some length to it. If that's the case, I'm also going to put the audiobook. I found a, an audiobook on YouTube um, of someone just reading the book, and if that's something you are interested in and you want to read it, fantastic. The link to that is down below. If you like this video, I would love to know, you know, why you liked it, what were some parts you did like, what some parts you didn't like, and I am, would it be, I would be happy to do more. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. It's really late. Um, so, yes, my first book this week is Anola Holmes. Get real close there. Anola Holmes Mystery. I hope you guys read it. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you do read it, let me know. I would love to, like, chat about what you liked about it, and what were some parts you didn't like. If you see the movie, um, I'm going to see the movie when it comes out as well, so we can talk about that too. This is all going to be stuff that can be done outside of class. Um, but yeah, so this video series is really just supposed to be a way for you guys to get introduced to books you may not have heard of before, or to, you know, just give you some ideas for independent reading. I know we haven't talked about it yet, but independent reading is so important. It is so important that you consistently read outside of class because you need to build up that brain muscle. 
I mean, I don't know who I would be if I didn't do independent reading, and I know that sounds like a bunch of baloney or just something an English teacher would say, but I can honestly say that reading has done immeasurable amounts of benefits for me, and I wanted to I wanted to do the same for you as well. So, with that being said, I will let you get on with your lovely days. I will see you all in class. Have a great Oaks Day, have a great Derby Day, have a great Labor Day, and have a good time reading. I will talk to you all soon. Um, Ta-ta for now. And yeah.